feeling in my bones I can feel it in my face Hands in the sky I can feel the winds of change You live and you learn And I hope I've seen enough To make something right And make up for what I Four and a half miles, just over four hours, four hours twenty. My legs not getting any better, my knee especially. It kind of comes and goes, but it's gradually just getting worse. I'm gonna have to call it a day, which is hugely embarrassing for so many different reasons. I am going to run the Rob Roy way from here to Aberfeldy. I'll catch up with my sister, Donna, who's been walking the Rob Roy way all week. I'm a little bit cautious, but if I'm going to do the race across Scotland in four weeks' time, I need to be able to do 50 miles tomorrow. If I don't do 50 miles tomorrow, it's game over. Genuinely, I feel that that's the case. So I have to do this tomorrow. If I don't do it, then the whole world falls in around me and I just can't allow that to happen. So, a few hours sleep, up at four, start at half four. It's a big, big day tomorrow, big day. And uh, we'll just see how it goes. That's all I can do. Don't go too crazy. Don't run too fast. Take it easy. Hopefully everything will be fine. So. Update in the morning. You live and you learn, and I hope I've seen enough to make something right, make up for what I. Surprised by you Want you to make my heart feel as much as I know it should I wanna get high on Caught by surprise by you Want you to make my heart feel as much as I know We're still very much in early stages of the, of the run today. I am two or three miles in, taking it easy. I'm still so conscious of the injury that stopped me from running a couple of weeks before. So just plod along the trail, enjoying Loch Lubnig, which is there. I am such a beautiful morning, so it's very relaxed. I am hopefully we can keep kicking on mile after mile, not feel anything, and um, yeah, just enjoying it. We're off Strathire now. There's a sun finally coming through. It's probably not such a great thing to be honest. It means we're going to heat up. So far so good. Knee and legs holding up okay. Just got to hope that it stays that way. Take it easy, keep stretching. But yeah, we're doing okay just now on track. Let's keep going. We are 12 and a half miles, two and a quarter hours, feeling strong. So far so good, it's what, quarter past seven in the morning, the sun's starting to come up, it's getting warmer. It's starting to heat up a bit, but Alright so far, because we're in the valley here, I've kind of protected a bit so far anyway. Uh, I need to watch my water consumption though. No? There's not going to be too many opportunities to refill today, so I need to be careful. 
one of the best views you'll get on the Rob Roy Way is at this point here where the trail heads high above Loch Ern Head. It looks right down Loch Ern, and especially at this time of day where you've got that beautiful sunrise. It's a uh, spectacular scenery. Really love it. Running along the, the hills above Killin. When you reach the top of Glenogle, you can either descend into Killin or you can stay high towards Kenmore. Because I'm not staying in Killin, I don't need to go there, I'm just staying on the high route. It's not far off 20 miles done. Feeling alright. Feel better than alright actually. A lot better than I did. Two weeks ago, 20 miles into the Great Glen, I'd already decided I was done. And I don't feel anything just now, so yes, so far so good. Time to cool off the feet, I think. Oh, how cool is this one What a glorious spot for a break. Just over 20 miles. Excuse my fingers. Look at this. Oh, this is the life. <laughs> my feet feel fantastic. <laughs> oh, this is great. Properly cooled down now. The landscape has completely changed from Calendar up to Killin. It was kind of thick forest and it was lush green and uh, yeah it was and there was valleys and spectacular backdrop and now that we've kind of cleared there the, the landscape's completely different. It's, it's moorland, there's a reservoir down there, it's quite bleak, you wouldn't want to be up here in a hor horrible weather when it's horizontal wind and rain. It's nice now, but yeah, completely different landscape, it's amazing how it suddenly changes just like that. So many examples of that around, around here, particularly this part of Scotland. Uh, and it'll be like this all the way to Kenmore. And then it changes again to much more lush uh, hillsides with woodland and the, the Burks Aberfeldy. I'm not going to go that way, I don't think. Uh, but if you know it, then you know that's a spectacular uh, part of the world as well, which is on the Rob Roy Way. So where we are, 23 and a half miles. Took a bit of a break back there at the, the, wee, the wee pool. It was a nice soaking feet. Just had a bit of food and uh, ready to go again. Hopefully we'll be in Kenmore in, oh I don't know, a couple hours at most. Not quite sure. Find out. Better get going. Sweet. Look at that. Cotton barbed wire. That is not nice. That could have been a lot worse. Look at that. So, hey, on the road again, right at the gate. 
off the hillside down to that entrance on the way out just about to cross it and I had a big moo bloody cows I'm shit scared of cows Highland cows are a bit nicer than normal cows but I'm not risking it there's no date and there's a baby just under the trees there I'm not going anywhere near them so it's over this fence through the brush and down taking no chances so tempting just to jump in it really is but I don't have enough time I'm afraid a bit behind the time now oh it's roasting gee man it's roasting There's Loch Tate, down there Been following that for the last few miles Probably got about 3 miles to go To Kenmore It's along this road, it's a nightmare My feet are fine But it's just so monotonous uh, It's what, 10 miles in total there The distance along this road the flies are doing my nut You can probably see them buzzing around my head Like some sort of cartoon Doing my nut As soon as I start walking they just go Phew. So I need to keep running so they don't descend That's all part of the fun Right, three miles to Kenmore, come on Reached Kenmore. Finally, that was a tough 10 miles along the road to tell you. So I stopped off for a bottle of Iron Brew, a wee bit of chocolate, and six or seven miles along the river to Riverfield. River sidewalk from Kenmore to Aberfeldy. I'm feeling it now, to be honest. Uh, I'm stopping more often and walking more often. The heat is getting to me a wee bit. Uh, in fact, I've done 40 odd miles, getting to me a wee bit. But I'm just focusing on. The fact that I've only got a wee while to go But uh, yeah, it's getting harder Starting to feel a bit tired uh, But I've definitely got enough in the tank for the next few miles to get to Pitlochry Yeah, but at least the scenery is absolutely amazing Proper stunning Look at that Oh Put the sand in this way isn't this lovely? <sighs> now that is a room with a view. Well, that's me and Aberfeldy. Just about to cross the bridge over the Tay. I'm absolutely knackered now. Eight, nine miles to go to Pitlock at the end. Uh, Donna's somewhere between here and Pitlochry, I'll probably not catch her. Uh, never mind. I'm there for five ish, and that's fine. So it's been nine and a half hours so far to do 46 and a half miles. Well, oh, I'm feeling those miles. Quick pit stop. Co-op, fizzy juice, 
to be something else, I don't know. And final push to Pit Lockery. There's our, the river to you there. Isn't that lovely? Look who I found. Finally caught up. Yay. Must be about three miles to go. Something like that. Oh, absolutely done in now. It's time to sit down. I have a big up pint. Right, here we are. 56 miles later and we're there. Careful, okay. Oh, what a day. The official end of the Rob Roy Way. Oh. Perfect. Beat. Okay. Well, we've just arrived at the war memorial, so I'm going to get a couple of pictures. Successful day all round. Legs are doing great, yes. Now for a pint.